guys, um, this is me, I'm going to be playing the demo on Batman Arkham City. It's a mom, I'm going to see if I like it. I've played it once before. I know I really, really do like it, and I want to I wanna see if my brother will. If he ever gets out of bed, because I'm doing this kind of early in the morning, he's going to join this commentary. I asked him to, and then he was like, yeah, sure, and he stayed in bed. An idiot. Alright, so let's click start and let's get into this thing. What I've played to this thing is very, very fun. Very fun. I think I'm going to roll the cutscene and I'll shut up through the cutscene just because some people might want to watch it. I'm going to turn the volume up on my TV since my dazzle doesn't record sound. You guys can still hear the sound of what I'm doing. SWAT teams, the media, and you. Yeah, it's been a hell of a night. Hopefully the last one we'll ever have with him. Yeah, we're back. Hold it there. Sorry, Batman. Arkham staff over. I assure you, if anyone's qualified, it's... Uh, listen, I appreciate the assistance, but he'll unsettle the more violent inmate. <laughs> I think he's talking about you, Bat. Don't you think? Yes, you're always welcome here. Better say. Guys, this is gonna be the fun part where I get to beat some shit up. I know it's not my first time playing this, but it's my funnest time playing it, because I get to do my reviews while I do it. 
Well, yeah. Uh, I used to have a friend that had this game. It wasn't this one, though, but he had Batman. They're all basically the same. Okay, I don't care, Greg. Stop talking. Anyway, yeah. I will come find you. Bring it on. Bitch. Yeah, I know how to angle that thing. Everywhere that madman goes, death is sure to follow. All patients who take their medication on the prescribed times eat them every day. Prescribed doses must be one. Forgot about this part. I love Batman because all he does is he's a specialist at beating your ass without killing you. He fights without killing anybody. Get up, I have to talk to you. What happened? Joker happened. Be alive. Must have gone this way. Door's jammed. I'll try and get it open. Can you hear me? I'm with Batman. Hello? Where are they? Back down there. Do you need help? No. I work better alone. Can you hear me? If you can, help's on the way. Alright guys, so like I said, I have done this before. I actually happened to remember from the last time I did like a test drive. Wait, let's listen to Oracle. He's running free in Arkham. Do you need anything? Is my dad still there? Commissioner Gordon is safe. Joker's not far ahead. I'll stay in contact. Anyway, I know which way to go because I did a test run of this playthrough. You'll only end up in more trouble if you continue. I just talked to this dude even though I already Listen know up. what's going on. Just say, you got Mike. He's strapped in the chair. Zaz has totally lost it. Wait here. You can't. He'll kill Mike if he sees anyone trying to get close. He won't see me. I see anything that looks even a little bit like a bat. <laughs> on this top balcony. Okay, and let's talk to these two. Or at least the cutscene might happen. Have another. Oh my god, that's bad. You okay, Mike? Okay, you're okay. I don't really care for you. Please get me to 
technically the Oracle, I'm here. Arkham Asylum just vanished off the network. He's in control of the security system. He probably isolated it from the grid. That's not all he's done. All police teams are reporting he's placed bombs all over Gotham. Said he'll detonate them if anyone puts a foot on Arkham Island. It's being suppressed at the moment, but the story will break any time now. He's lying. It's just a diversion. All right, guys. First of all, this is stuff you need right here. I'm going to open it for us. All right. This is not the way you want to go. I'll show you the way you want to go from here. But this is a little thing where you can pick up a Riddler's trophy you found, and that's good. That's good. You get. I think that helps you later in the game. It doesn't help you in the demo if you have it, but I believe. Very much, there's something important about it later in the game. It has something to do with R Riddler's clues. You might even get some achievements yeah, for that one. So, yeah, I did find a way out. That's examination. Now watch this. This kind of sucks for these guys. You have to sneak past these guys, and it's pretty easy. But there's about to be a little thing where. He talks, so I'm just gonna chill here. Oracle, Joker's men have taken control of the cell block transfer corridor. That's not good. I patched it to a guard radio. It sounds like Joker's crew have got their hands on weapons. I know. Calibrate the cowl's vision mode to isolate on henchmen. The All right. Approach is suicide. I'll show you what I'm gonna do now. Like he's saying, direct approach. Not gonna fucking happen. We're gonna go. Over here, then we're going to slowly drop down. We're not even going to deal yeah, with these guys. The I'm just going to get into this tent now and get out of the way of those boys that are down there that he's alerted. Alright. going to immediately go up here to that smoke. It doesn't do anything to you. Watch this. These guys will not see you no matter what. As soon as he turns around, nobody sees you. They're all stupid. You ready? We're gonna get through here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw this at him. That makes him ready for a ground and pound. That makes him immediately gone from our world. Now, I like to do is I like to grapple up here. Well, my first try, that wasn't my first instinct. But now I have a bit more of an idea on what to do. I'm going to get over here. I'm basically looking to take out this guy. I'm going to glide kick him. And I'm going to ground and bounce him right here. Then I'm going to get right back up out of sight. He's going to be like, what? Basically, all you got to do is once you're spotted, you got to make sure that you move fast enough and at a quick enough pace where they just cannot see you anymore. They don't know what the fuck just happened. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glide kick this guy because I'm super risky. I like to be risky. So I'm going to get the fuck out of there as fast as I can. They don't know where I am as long as I keep moving. These guys are kind of stupid. They're not going to understand. Once again, I'm going to glide kick him. This is my strategy to... This like entire game is just to beat the shit out of people from above. And once again, get the fuck out of there. That was a stupidly. Ah, oh, I died. So you guys know I'm not always the best at these things. Someone finish him off. Fuck you, Victor. There's one more Harvey Quinn comes out in like four where he comes out. I like the ones where Harvey Quinn comes out. 
I gotta be a little bit more careful this time. That wasn't exactly what I usually do. Now, I don't know who I can glide to, but I'm gonna look around. And it looks like I'm clear to do this without anybody seeing me. But I might be wrong, and I might have to escape a very dangerous situation real soon. See, like, if you saw that, I just escaped quite a dangerous situation. And that's not always the best thing you want to do. You never want to be in a position to where you got... Like, watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to hit this guy with this. Then I'm going to go and kick this guy. I'm going to be a little bit more smarter about it. Now he doesn't see me anymore. That was bad. That was really bad. I got double teamed and I should have clicked glide kick when I clicked glide and I really messed up there. Like I said, I usually put this from 20 to 25 minutes. I think I'm going to do it this time. I'm gonna finish this demo. It's not that hard at all. Hey, get the hell out of here. Get me out of here. I wanna get another gargoyle. Yeah, see how they just said they lost me? It's because I'm keeping mobile. Now, I'm not sure exactly what the, uh, the official good strategy is, but I've always thought my strategy has some spunk to it. No other strategy I've seen has. When I play this game, I think that right here, I'm making a bad decision. Because this is three people I do not want in my butt, and I'm going to die. Find somewhere to go, Batman, before you die. Dying is not the best idea right now. Okay, well, I barely even damaged one guy. And I need to find out how to get my health back, because I have, like, no health. You can see that. I'm going to take this one dude who I've already glide kicked once. And I'm going to get a ground and pound on him. Then I'm going to get the hell out of here. Because this is not a good situation. I have like no health left. I need to make sure that I stay mobile. No matter what, I cannot take any hits right now. Which means I have to play it extra smart. And to play it extra smart, I'm going to have to find somebody. I'm going to have to single him out. Like, watch. I could glide kick him right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna know. I'm, I'm gonna glide kick this guy. Because he's on top. And this would be smarter, is to glide kick him. And then get the hell out of here. And then I can get top advantage. And I've got everything going for me. Is that dude on the bottom? That dude on the bottom can barely even see me. Like, he couldn't, he couldn't even see me. If I had killed that dude on the bottom, then the other guy totally would have figured out where it was. Now, this kid, I'm pretty sure is alone. I'm going to check around him. See, no. Watch this. I'm going to wait for him to go down there, and then I'm going to glide kick this fool. Because he is stupid and doesn't understand that I'm Batman, and I'm going to kill you. There's a gargoyle. Go to it. I tell you to do stuff. And you do it. And I tell you to do it. Now, this is the main spot where I like to knock people out. Mainly just because, once again, this kid's all alone. And he is calling for other help. So I've got to get in, get that out, and get the hell out of here. Like, as 
fast as I can. Cool. His body is gl like freaking glitching out. Cool. I need to figure out. I'm gonna go to different spots. I'm pretty sure. Oh wait, no. Looks like I'm gonna be allowed to see the Joker. This is the end, guys. But I'll let you watch this cutscene because you'll get to do this in the full thing if you buy it. And then, unfortunately for me, the demo says, fuck you, and kicks me out at the best part. So, you know what? I will see you later. My opinion on this game, the everyday, you know, freaking FPS, really hardcore FPSer, you probably should not buy this game unless you are really got into it. But, you know, when and if you decide that that's up to you but if you like this game a little bit and would like a little bit of a change i'd suggest you just buy the demo because i got a lot of fun out of the demo it's my second time playing it not a bit of it was dull get a lot of glide kicks kicked some ass did all kinds of cool stuff and i'm pretty sure the full game will be even more fun if you're looking if you're looking to completely get into the batman games especially if you're into my um, if you're into things like Gotham City Imposters, this isn't an FPS, but Batman's a really fun, like, lore and, and, like, series. They've all got really cool games, and I think that's going to be enough for me today. I'll see you guys later.